And what about the Bible? But Do you have any legs to stand on? It's like kettle telling the pot you're black. Time, time. It's like okay. kettle telling the pot you're black. Okay. 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 So, okay. There we go. so, thank you. So, uh, again, uh, Mr. Rashid is saying uh, the prophet cursed it, but he's failing to see that the prophet also decreed it. Now, at best, doesn't it make your prophet seem very confused that on the one hand he's giving this law and then he's cursing it, this law? Doesn't that say to you something about his prophethood, about whether or not he's someone that you can reliably follow to give you guidance about life? He was also very keen uh, to get away from the schools of Fiqh that seemed to condone halala marriage. He didn't like the fact that I read out uh, this portion of the Hanafi mandab that said, actually, uh, halala marriage is condoned, that you can only be lawful to your husband if you go, if you want to be reconciled to him by consummating the relationship with another man. That the curse isn't a prohibition, that you still have to go and do that. And actually, it is not the only school of Fiqh that condones this practice. The Shafi school also says this, this is from the Reliance of the Traveller, when a free man has pronounced a threefold divorce a divorced wife is unlawful for him to remarry until she has married another husband in a valid marriage and the new husband in a valid has marriage. copulated with her okay this is page seven uh, uh, paragraph seven okay of the reliance of the traveler so actually you are trying to tell me that it's not islamic we see it in the hadith we see it in the quran we see it in at least two schools of islamic law so please tell me something a little bit more convincing that it is in fact un-islamic thank you lizzie now i'm going to ask you a simple question and i'm sure you're a you're an honorable person i have no doubt in i mean although i have my reservations about your group i know jay smith as I believe is a compulsive liar. He <laughs> deliberately he deliberately distorts our faith, like he has done in this case. I have already stated clearly, and you have admitted, you have accepted the fact that the Prophet condemned what you call halala marriage in the severest of words, and you have, you have accepted it, that the Prophet has condemned. Now the other reports, they are talking about normal weddings, normal marriages. A woman is divorced, she goes to another man, and she gets married to another man. That's what we call a normal marriage. It is perfectly allowed in Islam. In the Bible, according to Christianity, it is not allowed. Chapter 5 of the book of Matthew, verse 30 onwards, the rules of divorce are there. A woman cannot be divorced. Why? You have not once, you have not once responded to that point. I wonder why. So it's like cattle telling the pot you're black. Okay. So be consistent about your ethics on divorce and marriage. You cannot be lecturing me on the divorce ethics when we have the Quran. The Quran in categorical terms states that live with your women on beautiful, kind and compassionate terms. <laughs> compassionate terms the prophet said the best of you are those who are best to their wives okay and in divorce in divorce even in divorce the prophet is saying when you divorce them divorce them kindly do not jeopardize their lives do not make their lives difficult do not throw them away do not abuse them when you divorce them okay and if they want to go and get married to someone else do not put obstacles in the ways all of this has been clearly stated why are you refusing to accept the fact and, and when you quoted the Shafi school of thought do you know what Maliki said no, you, you misunderstood it the Shafi school is categorically stating it is a normal wedding you said it you said it it is a normal okay. marriage okay. so so the bottom line is there's no halala marriage in Islam it has been shown okay. conclusively okay. thank you I would like to I would like to I would like to this is this is your last this is this is your last this is your last point and then I'll have my summary okay and then it's over Okay. Because you spoke first. Is this a summary? Yeah. No, it's her last. It's my turn. Okay. It's, it's wait, wait, wait. A, by the way, I do. do you, I, this is your last point, and then I'll have my summary. Okay, and then it's over. Because you spoke first. Is this a summary? Yeah. No, it's her last. It's, it's a, by the way, I do, do. Are you okay? It's your last. It's your last. Uh, no, you can continue. It's your last because we've we've said what we have said what we had to say. We have made our points clear. It's your last term, last time, and my last time after you, okay? I want to know why you can see it's not allowed. Okay, so, Stop now. Uh, I've known this uh, that this kind of marriage is just a normal marriage. The idea that you divorce your first husband, and it's somehow perfectly normal uh, to, go, uh, to go to another husband and consummate that business in order to be reconciled to your family. Not in order. I think surely all of us here, I'm talking to Muslims, I'm talking to Muslims, I'm talking to everybody, will realise that that is simply just horrific. Why can't
cannot, the husband and wife, have a conversation, simply go to marriage counseling or something like that, sort it out, and be reconciled. Why does Anna make you go, make God's woman against her? Well, no, he doesn't have anything to say to the man about this. Why does he make the woman uh, go and approximate a relationship with, with another man? This is subjugating you again. Subjugating women. Just Remember that. Yeah. Remember yeah. that. So, do you tell me, uh, do, you, do you think the Diabandis, are they Islamic? The Diabandi movement, are they Islamic? Yes or no? The Diabandis, are they Islamic? Carry, carry on, finish your point. Okay. Who are, the, who are the Diabandis? Who are they? Who are they? Do you know who they are? Yes, they are from... From what country? So you don't know who the Obandis are? Let's move on. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. So you don't know who the Obandis are? Let's move on. Your teacher is not teaching you. Don't give free. What, what is the Obandi? I know what they are. I know what they are. Do you know what they are? What is the you don't want to answer the question. Well, they are Islamic. Okay, tell us about that. Tell us about that. So, this is like an agony argument. It's first time I'm here. I'm not telling. I'm telling you. We're going to have a family friend for the sake of cooperation and to get us together as we have this. Time, time. No, let her finish your point. Okay. Let's be fair. We can with my wife without any halala conditions, but we all know that we were doing this nikah for halala purpose. Then the divorce, uh, divorce and I remarried my wife. I went to Asik and asked if halala is permissible, as many scholars say that it's haram. If anyone with such an intention to uh, I'm very much confused. Please tell me if had a So you just acknowledge that many scholars call, say it's haram? Yes. And this yes. person says... Yes. So why are you insisting that it is Islamic? I'm asking, yes. is this an Islamic scholar answer? So why do you choose this Islam, so-called Islamic scholar and reject the 99% of us? Yeah. It's like quoting ISIS as Islam. Okay, can I, can I have my time now? Because you've had more than enough. You've had more than enough. My last term. Okay, now ladies and gentlemen, it has become clear. Remember when she said that it is subjugating women. Okay, firstly, let me explain something. The reason why the Prophet said that she has to uh, let her second husband have his rights is because he doesn't want women and men to, to abuse the concept of divorce. They've had the chance for three months to reconcile. One divorce, they wait for a period, which is nearly a month. Another divorce, they wait for another period, which is another month. Then the third divorce. So it is three months period when they had the chance to reconcile, they didn't do it. And then divorce happened, right? Yes. And if the woman now says he wants to come back, it's not a game you play with people's lives. Yes, there are the children woman, yeah. involved. There are people involved. So you don't play games. That's why this rule is there. So that you don't play games with reward. But remember, he said that it is abhorrent. It is disgusting. Yeah. But look who's talking. Look who's talking. They don't allow divorce. They don't allow divorce. Here we have women who can be divorced if they're not getting on with the husband. If the husband is a is an abuser, a gangster, a drug dealer, or something remarried. like that, a woman can simply go to a judge and seek divorce. She, she has the right to take divorce from, a, from, a, from an abuser. In this case, biblically, according to the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 30 onwards, she's an adultery. She, she cannot marry. divorce. And if she, marries, she cannot have a divorce. Okay, so where is the comparison? Where is the, now, with regards to halala, again, coming back, she's picking into the Obandis, red fish, blue bandies? monkey, red elephant. Do you know this? Is blue elephant Islamic or is red mon monkey Islamic? What, what kind of questions are you're using someone as your evidence? You need to tell us what they are. I know what they are. I know where they stand. Islamic position. And she acknowledged, she acknowledged clearly that scholars, they say it's haram. So why do you pick? It's like one it's like using ISIS group, as an example yeah. for Islam. Only extremists like these people can do that. The okay, hatred. they have an extreme approach towards Islam. They will go and pick out of two billion people, out of two billion people, they will choose one person who is the worst example and they say, This is Islam. This is Islam. This is what they're doing. Time up. Thank you very much for having a debate. Thank you very much. Okay. The debate over. But why did you learn something today? Why? <laughs> have you learned something <laughs> today? <laughs> no, no, I have to check, double check if she doesn't bring it there again. Where are you coming to?
name of Jesus. 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 Jesus was not a liar. He was not a hate preacher. On the day of judgment, he will tell the liars to get away from this. He will tell the liars to get away from this. He will tell you, I never knew you. He will tell you. No, listen, I have a question. I have a question. Wait, I have a question from people like Patrick, a very reasonable man, as I know him. Lizzie, I'm willing to accept that she's reasonable as well. Okay. And because I know these people have human instincts. I'm asking yeah. you a question. Simple question. Do you not see how you are misrepresenting Islam or faith? Deliberately. Yeah. You really? have been told that it really? is haram in Islam. You, the Prophet said it's haram. It is the cursed. Scholars. scholars are saying it is haram. Hey, you will yeah. go You will go in the house of Islam. You will pick some example. Extremists, some lost cases, some misguided people. You will say, this is Islam. Ignore the 99% and begin. Okay. What is the, the, you know what the Sunnah is? A sunnah is what the Prophet said. So when the Prophet said it is cursed, it is cursed. Why do you still insist it is Islam? The debate is over, but you can answer. Yeah. You did ask a question. Yes, go ahead. Why are you misrepresenting Islam? That's the question. Because you hate Islam. Yeah. No, no, he asked the question. No, no, I am not misrepresenting I'm going straight back to your Holy Book. So when the prophet cursed it, when the prophet cursed it, what do you understand? I no, you're not asking a question. You have made statements on your Facebook page. You have made statements on your YouTube account. You're making videos and you're telling people this is Islam. But it's not Islam. About this subject. Islam disappeared. Yeah, destroyed. Yeah. Jay Smith wants Islam destroyed. You want Islam destroyed? You want? So, so, even if it's true, even if it's true, even if it's true, even if it's true. This is the love of the gospel. He says, "I will love the loving gospel of Jesus Christ." Same. You see. He wants Islam destroyed. Him, no, no, wait. I, I, I will let him finish. Imagine, imagine I said that. Yes. Imagine I said that. I would be on news. I would be on the news. Carry on. You've been present for us. Yes. Yes, you are, Mr. President. And I asked my Muslim friends to explain it to me. Okay? Before we proceed, you say, you have to explain it. And sometimes I remember the first, it's very difficult. And I asked my Muslim friends, how would you execute Muslims? Okay? And if there is a reasonable way of understanding, then I would allow you to do it. Today, what did you learn today? Okay, did you learn today? Did you learn today? Okay. Okay, okay. What did you learn today? What did you learn after this discussion today? What did you learn? I will tell you that I am not convinced by your answer. Even though that, even though, even though. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm asking questions. So, so, wait, specific. Wait, so, so we are hitting the nail on the head. Even though there is no. Wait. I'm, I'm asking questions. So, so, wait, specific. Wait, so, so we are hitting the nail on the head. Even though there is no evidence whatsoever for. Halala marriage in Islam, number one. No evidence. No evidence. Okay. There, no. Show me, show me halala marriage anywhere in Islam. It is not. It's normal. Okay. It is normal marriage. Do you know what that means? Can I just say it's your turn now to show me your evidence? If I've got this. My evidence is what you're calling halala was categorically in words. The Prophet used the same words. Muhallil, Muhallil, Laan Allah. Prophet said it is. The curse of God be upon the one who does this. Halala. Halala. Come on. Come on. Come on. Christians. Come on. Let's do it from the numbers game. Okay. I gave you three hadith, one chronic verse, two schools. It doesn't mean that. The word halala is not there. Hadith. One hadith versus six. Listen, listen. Maybe you can bring me something else. Something from the Malachi. Something from the Bali. Something another hadith. Something else. That means that I've got it completely wrong. Lizzie, 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 wait. You need to are, you deliberately, are you deliberately ignoring what I'm saying? That halala marriage is not Islamic. Okay, Lizzie, 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 Lizzie,
Are you truthful? You wanted to find the truth. Are you truthful in that? Sincere. Sincerely. You tell me something I've said that's not true. Listen, 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 listen. Do you know what are the conditions of marriage in Islam? The conditions of marriage in Islam. Suppose some woman divorced three times and she wanted to marry again. What is the condition of marrying again? Do you know what is it? Well, according to Surah 2, I-230, okay, if she's been divorced, and she wants to be reconciled to her husband, she needs to consummate that marriage. That's not the answer to this question. This is not the answer. I'm asking you, do you know what are the conditions if a woman wanted to divorce another man? What is the condition there? No, maybe you can explain to me. Okay. Oh. One, of so the main, one of the main conditions, it shouldn't be temporary, first of all. They shouldn't intend to divorce. They should intend to establish another family. Yeah. That's what they have. Now, if it didn't work out, their life and she found that this man then other the other man is bad is worse than the first one then after she's divorced with the, from the new one she's entitled to go back to the first if she wish if she wish if she doesn't wish she's entitled to marry any, any other man which means the condition of marriage is applies everywhere doesn't mean she's entitled to go to marry someone temporarily and he is thinking i'm going to divorce her the next day he's not allowed to do that in so, islam so, so, this exactly. calls muta in yeah. islam in sunnah okay. When there's an intention Listen, do you mean to divorce a woman, wait. When there's an intention to divorce a woman, you before you get married to her, there's an intention that she, this woman will be divorced so that she can go back to her first yes. husband. This is what halala is. Okay, wait. Now, in Islam, in Islam, in Islam, this is absolutely. You said you wanted to know. You said you wanted to learn. So I'm teaching you. I'm, say, I'm teaching you. Listen, I, I'm teaching you. I'm saying to you. You don't even know. In Islam, when Allah said in the Quran, the Arabic word, which means until. She marry another man, yeah? Right, sir, can I just give you the meaning marry another man, the, the condition of yes, marriage, it shouldn't be temporary, do you understand? So did you learn this? Did you learn, did you learn this? Are you open, that, are you open to that truth? Yes, yes. Okay. Let's just want to know if you are open to that truth. Okay, say it. Okay. Also, listen, I need to be allowed to Go ahead, please. So, I appreciate that what you're saying is that temporary marriage is not allowed. However, can you show me from your sources, can you show me from the hadith or the tafsirs or the Quran, okay, where this temporary aspect is prohibited, it's absolutely bad. The very hadith. Okay? I'm talking to him now, I'm asking okay. if he can show that to me. Okay. Right? Because also, I mean, a lot of the debate about this, I've been reading up about the debate about law, is, is, is about intentionality. The idea that, you know, it's what you're, if you're, it's haram if you somehow go into the marriage with the intention of getting divorced again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? So, yeah, yeah that's what, right. what I, I've heard that hadith, argument, but what I'm not, not seeing in the hadith or the Quran or the tafsirs is really any unpacking of this intentionality. It seems like what the Quran is saying and what the Hadith is saying is it's a question that really is the heart is lawfulness, not intentionality. Do you see what I mean? The, the, and either, the, there are many a hadith. There are many a hadith. Either way, yeah. either way the, the issue is more the issue of lawfulness because that's what the Quran says. He will give you the report. The intentionality okay. is we, a secondary. Just a minute. Now here. No, 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 the secondary is the main issue because in Islam there is two conditions for any act of worship in Islam. First of all, it has to be the intention and as well it has so to be of marriage. Any, anything in Islam. It has to be under two main conditions. Anything in Islam. Intention. The intention is the first one. You have primary. primary. That's primary. the first thing. Okay. Do you and have, then, where are your sources? So when you say the first hadith of Bukhari. The first hadith, the first hadith, hadith of Bukhari. Bukhari. If you read it. Yeah. In the all actions all, 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 من كان ما ما من جاء بغير ما عليه أمرنا فهو رد whatever who brings something which is our our way our methodology is not from us then it is rejected yeah which means this is the second condition so it has to be first of all the intention the second thing has to be following the guidance of of, of, of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم so those are the two main conditions sir marriage divorce and all these things now now when I if I intend to marry someone if I have intention to divorce this marriage already is already negated. It's, it's already not valid. Why? Because it's not allowed to do that. You understand? So that's the first thing. The second point, yeah. when we say, where is the, the temporary marriage? There are many hadith that the Prophet, peace be upon him, he condemned the temporary marriage. Can not only that. Can you quote that? Yeah, for example, we, yeah. we have the narration of Ali ibn Abi he said that the Prophet, sallam, he prohibited can that the... Can you give yeah, Bukhari. Bukhari, you can find it. Muta marriage. So, the Muta marriage, marriage of uh, condemned by the Prophet, haram, haram. So he said it's haram. So it's clear cut is haram. Okay, can you, can you Number? I'll show you to you right now. Get it, get it there. So anyway, we have we have many hadith that says that the temporary is not allowed. Now, 
Now, when Allah says in the Quran, حتى تنكح زوج الغير. Okay, if if we're in danger. Sorry. If we show if we show to no, but if we show to you that temporary marriage is haram in Islam, will that change your mind? Will that change your mind? We're going to get to some conclusion because this is we want to get to the bottom of it. Okay. One second. Okay, say. We got two against one at the moment. We should be one against one, really. You are Come here. Okay. Yeah, you can come in as well if you want. Come in. Be two to two. I think. Are we not confusing two different things? One is temporary marriage, and one is halal marriage. Okay. Where a woman wants to be. Can you say? Can I say? What is? Okay. Can you can you define? Can you define what's halal marriage? I'll define the difference between. Okay. So halal marriage. According to the Quran, it's 0-2-I-3-0, where a woman who wants to be reconciled to her first husband has to marry another man, consummate and go back. And technically, so, wait, 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 okay. this is just kind of... Is it love, is lawful marriage or not lawful marriage? And, and mutter marriage, yeah, is this right, temporary marriage, is really all that it is. You get married just for a period of time, and then you get divorced, and actually it's nothing that the reconciliation element is not... Is, is not so, so, the question, so the question so, is... Are we talking about two different things? No, 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 we're, talk, no we're talking about one thing. One thing. The yeah, halal marriage. marriage. What's the, marriage. the, What's the halal marriage? marriage? What is it? Is it is it for a period of time or is it for no, no. a period of time? When we say halal, someone wants to marry halal. When I say halal, someone wants to marry halal. Does he need to marry for a temporary time? No, because the intention is halal. Wait, wait, wait. The intention is halal. What is halal? Right? What, what is Lizzie, are you listening? Wait. Let her come back up. When you call it halala marriage, it is very obvious you're referring to something that is already known as halala marriage before it is conducted. Agreed? Yes. Um, okay. Whatever, yes? whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. No, you I call it. You're calling it halala marriage. You started it. No, it doesn't. Islam, Islam doesn't call I'm it that. No. I'm okay. There's no such thing as halala I'm marriage. Referring to the practice that your Quran talks about in Surah Two, Ayat Two Three Zero. And what is that practice? Yeah. Okay. Say, say, explain. Say, say, say. Read okay. okay. it. And if he has divorced her yeah. the third time, then she is not lawful unto him thereafter and until she has married, married. another husband. Married. Yes. Okay? Is it lawful? Marriage. Is it lawful marriage? You know what marriage is? Do you know what marriage is? Do you know what marriage is? Okay. I will tell you something. But no, no, just wait, a minute. Wait, I'm wait, answering here. I'm answering here. Sorry. I'm answering here. Sorry. I'm answering here. Yeah. Listen, a very simple thing. In a very simple thing. No, no, we've already had a very simple thing. We're just discussion. Listen, listen. Listen, Lizzie. No, marriage. What do you say until until she marry? Like another What's man, the which means marriage? the definition of marriage. First, first of all, first of all, the two sides has to agree. There should be as well two witnesses. There should be people that have to be announced. And no intention of temp so there is no any intention that they're gonna they're gonna marry I, for for a temporary. Okay, right, so that's okay, how okay, it is. Okay, okay, the other right, side. Say, Did you get this? Okay, let me say. For the Did you get this? Okay, please let me talk. Did you get it? Yeah, yes or no? Because. Times. I'm gonna answer your question. Yeah. Right? Okay. So you got it. So I appreciate that what you're saying is is that what is haram is that it cannot be like a thing of convenience. It cannot be done temporarily simply in order to get to be reconciled. No. Okay, that's no. what you're saying, is that right? No. If no. that element is there, that what we're saying is yeah. if it's there is an wrong. element it's if, wrong. No. That's if, not what you're saying. Wait, wait, let's let me explain. If there is an element of abnormality because a marriage contract is well known in Islam. It is a marriage contract, that's what it's called, and it has conditions, okay? Any abnormality involved will null will will will, will render will render the contract null and void. Do you understand that? Right. Yeah. So yeah. let's say that like, let, let's say I accept your argument for the sake of argument, okay, that any kind of temporary convenience element is wrong and haram and forbidden. Good. Okay. Anyway, anyway, isn't it just plain wrong? to put on a woman the condition that she has to go and remarry somebody else that, in order to be... Why, why does okay, the Quran that, add this for the reconciliation? Let, 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 let me tell you. Why doesn't the Quran... Can I finish? Yeah. Why doesn't the Quran say, if you get a divorce, you can okay. go and marry again, okay. full stop? Why doesn't it say that? I will tell you so. I will tell you how. Why does it say that in order for your first time to be reconciled, okay. you have to do this thing? Why doesn't Allah okay. simply say... No, let me respond. Listen, listen, I understand your question. I got you. I got you. I understand. You don't need to repeat. You are repeating. You are doing yourself. Yes, no problem. Let's finish. Let go on. Sanctity of marriage. Why does Allah do that? Why does not let her carry on? Yeah, okay. But you want to say more? You want to say more? All right. Listen, listen, listen to this. Listen, Lisa, Lisa. I'm talking to you. Listen, Lisa. I'm talking to you. Listen. There is a whole chapter in Quran about divorce whole chapter about the divorce and God said in the Quran the divorce first of all before the people get to the divorce there are things that should, should be done yeah procedures procedures it's not something which is like you know someone will divorce first of all 
first of all that the people before it happens they then they have to to uh, they have to to try arbitration. to to arbitration first of all they have to discuss between themselves then after that if they if they didn't work three months then no not three months then they bring someone uh, someone from her relative someone who is for example her father or someone who is uh, someone who's wise from his from, from her family and as well he will bring someone who those are not biased then they are gonna come and discuss to keep the marriage together yeah if it didn't work to negotiate those ones you said you said seeking advice this is what you said in the beginning seeking That's advice good. in islam listen listen Why to does it say this listen true? listen to this Why does it have to say this true? listen i didn't oh. interrupt you listen listen the other thing what happened now if these two people they have they will discuss and they will see there is no way to go on and they see the problems happens then they are entitled to divorce first of all first divorce then they will stay for three months up to the three months the divorce is there yeah now if the divorce that happened they aren't then if he return her back for example both of them they agreed to get together yeah so the divorce is not something that's again you divorce and then the next day the, the next day she comes back and then until infinity times of divorce they have to be limit so the people they don't play games with the divorce because it breaks the heart of the people if a woman a divorce for example you know what happens to the woman when she divorced you know what happens to the man on his divorce so it's not something small so they have a chance another chance let me finish they have another chance be because then the next chance then, then they have another chance they get together the problems happen listen the problem happens then they have to bring back again okay. two people again okay. then the same problem I, divorce I, I wanna, time. the third time there is no way which means you they have an, enough opportunity of divorces yes that's how is the procedure no, you no, understand? No, one second i want to make a point you, you said you, no you, you no you I, i'm no i am I am. No, I am. I am. Wait. He, you his point. Lizzie, I, I am answering, your question, answering your question right now. I'm answering your question. Why doesn't Alice simply let them be reconciled? Very good. Very good question. Why not? Can I, I answer now. Can, 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 can I respond to it? Can I just answer now? Can I? Can I respond to it? Why cannot God just simply let you go? Why does He have to kill? someone on the cross why does yeah, he simply not let ask you go? Simple challenge. why yeah. can he not no, simply let you go why is god so cruel that he has to kill his own son on the cross can you answer that question once you answer that question then i will answer your question why god has to do things like that okay answer my question so this is why the debate is over you know in the 19th century similarly a christian scholar was having a debate with a muslim scholar i wish you are honest why couldn't god i wish you are honest why couldn't god Wait, I don't think. Say, say, God, say, God, say, why could not God? God why couldn't God save the prophet's grandson? Yeah. The scholar, the Muslim scholar, rhetorically responded, "God was crying." So, so the Christian scholar asked, "Why was God crying?" God was crying. He responded, "Because, because, because I couldn't save my own son. How could I save your grandson? Right? So same answer. Same answer comes back to you. You know what? So why can God not simply forgive you? Why? Because you said you wanted to ask a question, yeah? And after that, you said you wanted to know that you said why they didn't have a reconciliation. No, no, no.